here's how to make letters flicker in Premiere Pro without any plugins. Thank you very much to my Ko-Fi members who are Envy, 2Crisp and Mark Inch. Step 1 setting up your text. So let's begin. I'm going to try and recreate this example. So I'm just going to duplicate my clip. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a text layer. So press T on your keyboard, click and into your text. I'm quite literally going to put your text underneath the effect controls for your text. What you need to do is realign it. So before doing so, make sure to select your font. So I'm going for Arial Bold. I'm going to align it by clicking center align text, which is this in the middle. You can change the other settings if you want to as well. For example, the spacing between the characters. So I've set mine to around 400 or you can leave it at zero if you want to. It looks like this. Then pick the rest of your settings, pause and copy mine if you would like to for the shadow. Then scroll a bit more down to where it says transform. Now we need to realign it again properly this time so you see this little crosshair over here click and drag it to the center whilst holding control on your keyboard and it's going to lock it into the center then for the position the one underneath shadow so not the other ones like down here or up here for the graphics underneath the shadow just reset the position by clicking on this reset parameter button here so here's the idea as soon as the character swings his arm the text flickers and appears and as we keep going around here to the end it flickers again but the other way around so it disappears completely Completely. Step 2 creating the flickers. Count how many characters your text has. So mine has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and divided by 2. So for me it'll be 4, meaning I'm going to duplicate my layer 4 times. So hold Alt on your keyboard and 1, 2, 3, 4. This top layer is going to be the main layer. So this will be just what you see on screen at the moment. And the bottom 4 will be the individual letters that we are going to pick. So for example, I am going to pick O, R, E and also T. I think it's best to skip a letter and keep a gap to create a very effective flicker. Of course, you don't have to follow my method. You could choose O, U, T and E, letters that are right next to each other. If you're confused, let me explain. So if I just hide the top layer, I'm going to create a mask around the first letter. So for me, it's O. So select your layer, scroll all the way down and click here where it says opacity. Click on the square and also make sure that you do not select the mask tool for the text layer itself. It should be all the way down underneath video. And now follow what I do. So mask feather should be five and just double click on the program monitor here. So you can just click right here. This just makes it easier to mask. In fact, before we do that, what we can do is hide the other layers. So you can see we've selected the second one. So that's the one we're gonna be focusing on. So you can hide the other one. So just hide them like so. And then what I'm gonna do is create a mask on the O, just like this, very simple stuff. Now I'm going to copy this mask over to my other layers. So right click on the opacity, not the mask itself, but the opacity. So right click and copy, hide the layer for the first text and then unhide the second one. Right click anywhere here and paste. Scroll all the way down and what we're gonna do is move this mask all the way to the next letter. So mine is R. Remember to skip a letter if you are following my steps and just repeat. So hide this one, next layer, paste, scroll all the way down, mask. So the next one will be not T, but E for me, just like that. Hide that one as well, paste, scroll all the way down, mask, and then it's going to be T, just like that. So now what you can do is unhide all the layers except for the very top one, which is the main text. So you just want to keep that hidden. This part is quite difficult. So let me let me try and explain my vision with you. I'm going to keep this part a little less unedited. So I do apologize if I stutter. I'm going to start by making the O visible and then maybe another letter. So maybe like an E and then an R and then a T or maybe a combination of two letters. So it could be O and T or maybe E and O. To make it easier, I do know that the top layer is O and the bottom layer is T. So this one over here is T. So that's the order it's in. First is first, second is the second letter and so on. I'm going to begin by showing the first letter so I can just cut these like so. So I've got O visible. Then I'll want the third character. So I can just move one frame ahead and cut the second and also the fourth. So now I've got this one visible, but I also don't want the O visible. So I'm just gonna make a cut just like that and delete this. So it goes O, E and then one more frame ahead. I want the R visible, which is the second one. So I can just cut the rest just like that. There you go. So O, E, R, one frame ahead. And maybe this time I want O and also T. So that's the first and the fourth. So I can get rid of the second and also the third and just delete them. One more frame ahead and it's going to be the opposite. So I want the second and the third visible only. So I'll get rid of the first, just delete that and also the fourth. So O, E, R, these two letters, and then these as well. I'm going to make another cut on all of the layers and just delete what's left. 
just like that. Unhide the very top layer and I'm just going to cut it from the beginning and pull it towards my right so that only the letters are visible. And now it should look something like this, which is perfect. Step 3. Reverse. I want the text to disappear or flicker away before the character swings his arm again just there. So let's say it's around this frame just there. I'm going to head 5 keyframes back and make a cut on the main text like that. So now it's not visible and I'm going to copy and paste the letters that we just made, the layers of them. So starting with the last two. So basically I'm copy and pasting it in reverse. So these two, I'm just going to paste it here. And then the next layers, so which are these two, just copy and paste like so. This one and just continue doing that. And you'll end up with a reverse flicker that looks like this. Thank you for watching. Peace.